Hi everyone. We're all familiar with the Revenge of the Sith ending, with Obi-Wan taking the high ground and defeating Anakin, leading to his transformation into Darth Vader. But what if Obi-Wan didn't defeat Anakin, and instead Anakin killed him, leaving the Jedi almost non-existent? This is what the Revenge of the Sith game explores, and provides an extra level which gives us this exact scenario. After Anakin kills Obi-Wan, Darth Sidious congratulates him and offers him a new lightsaber. What happens next is something I could not have predicted when I first played the game. Excellent work, my apprentice. There are none left to oppose us. The galaxy is ours now. Your new weapon, Lord Vader. No, the galaxy belongs to me. After killing Sidious, Anakin claims he now owns the galaxy, and it's quite interesting to imagine what could happen in this alternative timeline. We are told in the film that Padme died because she pretty much lost the will to live after seeing what Anakin had become. After now taking over the galaxy, Anakin would go back to check on Padme, and it's interesting to think if she would accept what he has just done. If she does, then Luke and Leia would be brought up with Anakin as the Emperor of the Galaxy, and would have never been involved with the Jedi, and it's likely the Jedi would have never recovered. With Darth Sidious dead, perhaps Padme may have been able to convince Anakin to let go of the dark side and go back to the light. In this timeline, Yoda is the only main remaining Jedi after Anakin has killed Obi-Wan and killed pretty much all of the remaining Jedi and younglings at the Jedi Temple. Anakin would now be in charge of the clone army and have unlimited power at his disposal. Yoda would likely try to rebuild the Jedi Order to eventually take on Anakin, maybe with the help of Ahsoka, who was Anakin's apprentice. It's interesting to imagine how a scenario like this would end up unfolding. The developers of the game deserve a lot of credit for thinking outside the box and not just creating a game that followed exactly what was in the movie. I liked how they created a reimagining of the film's ending and gave us something extra to think about. I'm too strong for you, Obi-Wan. Come on, Jedi, defend yourself. This ends now. Great bonus content like this, and the amazing lightsaber duel mode this game has, makes it one of, if not my favorite, all-time Star Wars game. Be sure to check out my video looking at the great lightsaber duel mode this game has. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Goodbye.